Good afternoon, how you doing? Uh, my name is Michael, and uh, today I'm gonna to be going over chapter two case study. And this case study was on the Glastonbury Festival. So I'm gonna go in a little bit of the history of the festival, and then I'm gonna dive into some questions. I will go over the uh, future direction of the festival and where I would take it as an event manager and how I would handle the increasing number of attendees and what that would require. I will then be discussing the benefits and drawback of the artificial event abandonment. So let's get into the history of this event. So this event first started in 1970. And um, it was around the same time as Woodstock. So in this first year, it had 1500 attendees. The next year, 1971, it had 12,000 attendees. And then from 1972 to 1977, it was actually banned and came back in 1978. And ever since then, they've been having increasingly, increasingly number of attendees wanting to come see the festival. Uh, they did take a couple gap years to, because the uh, the number of attendees quadrupled from 12,000 people to 60,000 people by 1988. And a larger crowd with the same venue, you're gonna have to control the crowd and make sure everyone is safe. And in 1991, they took another gap year because damage to the property over $50,000 was caused the previous year, people looting the property. So after the event was over, people came in and were destroying what the, the, the site of the event. So let's get into the questions. What would I would do as a future direction of the Glastonbury Festival? I would keep it, what, keep what they're doing the same. Um, maybe I would try to create some buzz from promotional strategies to get people more excited about the festival, but it's at a maturity stage where only a certain number of tickets are sold and they usually sell out every year. Uh, right now it's at 135,000 is the cap. Um, it used to be 150,000. I would try to maybe push it back to 150,000 and uh, maybe create more safety, more people on site. Um, I would not change the site. It's been at the same site for it's since its beginnings a farm in the uk so i would keep the site the same i wouldn't want to change that it would take away from the overall experience of the festival and now i want to discuss the benefits and drawbacks of artificial abandonment so there were benefits to this because the artificial abandonment they were able to take gap years and reassess everything as far as safety like well we need more security we need more fences we need this, we need that. We just gotta make sure everything is running smoothly. And I guess the abandonment drawbacks would definitely be having those years of not having this festival and losing out on the profits. 